you know, you never want to chase, but what we're going to see into year end, unfortunately, is a year end chase. I think the opportunity is not going to be in the seven stocks, the Magnificent Seven that led this year. They, they'll probably push higher into year end, no question, because managers got to make their years. But I think the opportunity is in the 493 stocks that have participated much less as breadth starts to widening and we see tax loss selling on the losers largely in the rearview mirror. So what's going to benefit seasonally? You're going to see a big rally in small caps are going to start to outperform. You know, the spread between large caps trading at 18 times and small caps trading at less than 12 times, there's going to be opportunity there. And why is that going to happen? Because they're financial, they're, they're loaded with financials. People have been afraid of financials because all the financials bought all these treasury bonds, as we remember from March, uh, they bought them during COVID when they got an influx of deposits because of all the stimulus money. They had to buy bonds. They bought treasuries just before the Fed went on an unprecedented uh, hiking cycle, and they got bad mark to markets, which caused them to sell off, which caused the small caps to sell off. As rates collapse, as we saw down to 445 today on the 10 year yield, uh, the mark to markets in these banks gets better and better as bonds go up, their balance sheets look better, and we're going to see a bid in the right. regional banks, right. believe it or not, which is going to drive small caps. So there's an opportunity there.